Hey guys, Colvin here. Welcome back to another RHR Legends video. We got the Mortal Soul Stones, the Immortal Soul Stones, the Eternal Soul Stones. It's insane. They already included packs in the shop, which I did not purchase. There's no reason for me to go um go and buy this. I mean, it's cool doing summons. We all know that, but these new shards, that's what I'm gonna call them. New shards, the mortal soul stones, they are there to make us um spend more, and the whales will be buying these for sure, but for the people out there, it is not really worth uh, buying, I would say, especially the mid-spenders. That's going to take a while for you to get any of these. The free-to-play is just going to do their six six keys a day. For me, I'm going to be using the 150 gems to do the refreshes, and whatever I get, I get them. I'll slowly uh, build up my blessings, I guess, on my champions to test it out. But uh, honestly, I'm not going to be spending Mortal Soul Stones. Another great way to get them, though is other than farming other than using your gems to do the highest difficulty every day so today is magic which i did um i i didn't do any summons today i did some yesterday i'll include them at the later part of this video um it was from my stream last night uh well not night it was during the evening which i streamed but now we've got the hydra okay so the hydra now will be giving you um those mortal soul coins and since i do one key on all difficulties uh, well, not all difficulties, but the, the three that matter. And the clan that I'm in right now, ET2, actually manages to beat it. Um, I'm able to get the increased drops, which are now which now include the Mortal Soul Coin. So let's have a look at how many I'll get from three of the top Hydra chests. And uh, I just wonder, I'm not, I'm not going to look at the gear here. I'll look at that after the video. So I get two from here. And then another two, which is nice. Four so far, four uh, mortal soul stones. I think that's the highest you can get. So I got lucky with that. So that's four. And then how many am I going to get from this one? Another two, that's six. And another two, hmm, that's eight. Eight so far. And I think Nightmare can give you up to three. So that's eight. And then what am I going to get from this one? I get another two, that's 10, and probably another two, right? Yeah, that's that's 12. I got <laughs> I got two from most and didn't get the three from here, the Grandmaster chest, but I, I think I got lucky on the hard one. So overall, I got I got a good amount now. I'll do those summons. I don't think you can do 10 at a time. Can you? You can actually do 10 at a time? I didn't know. Okay, apparently you can do 10 at a time. We'll do that just to see on how that looks as well within the game. I would love if they started adding those in the bazaar and if they added a way for you to actually get um, immortal soul stones using your uh, arena tokens, all right? These ones, are, uh, the, the metals, they need to have that in the game. It, it honestly makes sense. It doesn't make sense for us to, to have it to be so difficult because you need to do a lot of summons in order to get uh, immortal soul stones. And it's, it just doesn't make sense. Because you get the um, the silver coins, right? You use the silver coins here. You get the Mortal Soul Stones. I highly recommend doing that instead of buying the Mortal Soul Essences. Uh, because that's that's basically using up your gold coins. Um, what are these called? The Immortal Soul Coins. I'm going to call them the gold coins. And uh, to get 10 of these, and then you need to do um, 10 of those summons about four times. In order to get a thousand of these, so you can buy one eternal soul stone, which that gives you an 80% chance to get a, an epic or a 20% chance to get a legendary. And then after that, to, for it to be a six star, that's again, uh, you know, low chances. And then for that to be the one that you're looking for, it's again, low chances. It's just the odds are so low that um, spending in this one, no, no, I don't, I don't agree with it. So let's do a 10 pull here. I've got actually 21 now. Wow, that's actually a good. A good amount, but that's only once a week that I'll have so many, right? After the Hydra. So highly recommend doing the Hydra. If you haven't, haven't been pushing, yeah, I, I guess they gave us a reason now. So grappler. Oh, legendary. Okay. We get soulless. Nice. I actually use soulless. I actually use soulless. Okay. Crimson Helm and Judigator. Overall, these are bad. Maybe uh Thylesia. It's all right. Crimson Helm. I had that one before. And uh, Soulless is a fantastic legendary, so I'm, I will be giving him that big of a boost. And I wonder which one I'll give him. Since he benefits from defense, some of the blessings are not really worth it. So uh, let's do another 10 here and see. 
So the chance to get a legendary, I think it's six percent on this one. So it's like it's like a sacred shard. Uh come on. Epics. Magnar. Magnar is a good one. Okay. Magnar is a good one. And then one more. Ooh, I can actually buy this twice. Can I buy the 1000? No. Still, still quite far away. So let's do the final summon here and see what I can get. All right, let's see. Got a Hellfang. All right. And now my, my collection is, has actually grown. And wait, 41 out of 50. I think that's because you can actually extend this with silver. Seriously. I mean, come on. Uh, I mean, up to 100, it should be cheap. It, it is cheap. Oh, oh. Okay, up to 100. It is cheap, but then after that, it becomes 1 million. It's not that bad, but it's going to be ramping up, isn't it? Wow. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like how much that ramps up. So these ones I have already. So this one I can actually sell. Uh, do I have any other dupes? Not sure. I've got this one, which is a three star. So I can actually sacrifice this one. I don't need that anymore. And probably don't need this one. Most of these I don't need because I'll use only specific rares and then I'll use only specific epics like uh, my boy there, Magnar. So I'll sell this. Slowly accumulating the coins, I guess. And that slowly will give you what you want. But let's awaken Solas. That's that's definitely worth it. And the two star is not bad at all. So now that I awakened him, by the way, if you guys don't know how it works, you can get an incomplete, a partial soul from the Mystic Market, um, from the Soul Merchant, all right? So when this refreshes, I'll have a chance for it to be, an, an not a perfect soul, but an imperfect soul, okay? And it can be here as a slot, and then I can use that to get my... Um, my soul is to three star, but it will be a three star partial soul. And then when C three star, I can get a partial soul for four stars. Or if I ever manage to summon a perfect soul that's higher than that, I can just get the higher awakening through that way. But um, yeah, that was actually a good, good summon, right? I think it was a good summon. As long as I'm not spending anything, it's good. So let's have a look at Soulless. I have others already. I have my Lysandra already. And I have my soulless. And I did do my royal guard as well. I got lucky with that. He's in my wish list. All right. And I gave him cruelty, which actually gives him some extra crit damage. And then decreases defense by 1% per hit, up to 20% for champions, up to 10% for bosses. So that's insane because this will benefit all of my allies hitting the target. The other one that I could have used, okay, if let's say I wanted to, to use something else, I could have used this one, Crushing Rand, which um, on the final blessing, every hit will ignore a percentage of the target's defense, will ignore 1% defense for every 10 levels. So that's good for the individual character, but it doesn't benefit the group. And it only is good when you're at the six stars because the previous ranks give you on the first hit of each round, which kind of sucks. It's, it's only good maybe for a cold heart, but... <laughs> Um, Cold Hearts can't use it because it's an epic. So it's maybe Royal Guard that does the burst, but only the one time that he hits would benefit and until you get the six star. So for now, I'm I'm really happy with my Royal Guard. I got lucky with the summon for this one. That was from an Immortal Soul Stone. So from the second one. And uh, let's do Soulless's Blessing. So I did do a big test last night. Um on blessings and made a video on it on legendary blessings specifically did an actual showcase for each one of them within the game uh, on the test server of course but right now since we're on live i'll be very careful on which one i'll give to soulless so this one gives me a straight up defense defense boost and hp resistance and speed i don't want that so the iron will um lightning orb is the one that Lightning Orb is the one that benefits from having uh, the enemy receiving a buff or the Terminator field. Intimidating Presence, it's all right. Word of the Fallen is all right for soloing content and getting that going. Temporal Chains is the one with the Terminator manipulation. It does give you defense, 
Let's look at the war. Ah, we get the Soul Reaper, which will give me attack. I don't need attack at all. This should have been a little bit more clear on who gets it. Uh, this one straight up gives me HP, resistance, and speed. And then the Chaos one. I guess we have Brimstone right here with HP, accuracy, and speed. I still not sure which one gives me defense and crit damage. I think none of them gives me defense and crit damage. Right? Defense. So none of these are good for uh, this one. Attack and crit damage. Um, these ones are horrible, by the way. Especially comparing it to to other champions. The benefit. I'm, I'm probably going to do something that gives me defense. But I'll have to think about uh, the one to give to Solus. I want the extra crit damage. Um, because damage this champion receives from enemy skills activated by other skills or when enemies inflict damage when it's not their turn. Honestly, very, very bad upgrades for Solus. Even though I'll, I'll get the blessing, the extra boost to my base stat is what I want to see. So I'm probably going to use Intimidating Presence, which strengthens my team's aura and then weakens the enemy team's aura by 5%. I'll, at least I'll use that just to get a 400 defense. 400 defense versus 25% crit damage. Hmm. I think the 400 defense is way better than the extra crit damage. Let me quickly check this out, okay? So I've got 255 and 6,000 defense. So uh, there's a damage efficiency tool over on the HH website. And you put in your champion here. You put the current primary value. So I'm at 5,937 and 255 crit damage, okay? So what I'll do is 5,937 and current critical value 255. And uh, then we do calculate, okay? So for efficiency, critical damage goal for efficiency, I should be at 318%. Um, based on the calculation, you should be looking to increase your critical damage before adding more primary attack. Hmm. So maybe I should go for more critical critical damage instead so i guess i should go for more crit damage so maybe i should go for a blessing that gives me more crit damage guess i guess that tool is right but wow look at that i'm 400 defense 400 defense and for me to get the benefit from that it means i'll have to get a higher blessing which that is also gonna take so so long yeah i'll, I'll guess i'll go with the extra defense for now just to get that big benefit on my Solus's defense. So now I, I get boosted to 6,337. So guys, this was the video for doing some summons on the blessings. Um, again, I don't think it's worth it spending your money to get more of these soul stones. It's going to be a long, long way to go. And it's all going to be so random on how you get these blessings and give them to your heroes. Some of them are worth it, but it will take a while for it to take effect. Uh, I mean, the six star is going to be insane let's get let's say to get it to a legendary champion of your choice and not just a random one so um yeah take take this at a slower pace and uh, decide on your own on what you want to do thanks guys for watching subscribe if you haven't already i'll put some more summons here as part of the video and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya all right let's do the five summons and see got a rare Nice! The wish list one! Cold heart! Still don't know how I'll build her, but. Oh! Legendary! And. Rush card! I don't even have Rush card! Ah, this makes no sense! This makes no sense! Getting. For ones that I don't even have. Okay, rare. Raider, okay. Doesn't even make sense to get ones for the ones you don't have. Wretch. Ah. 7250 points is not hard. It's not hard. Let's do the altar souls on my referral and see how that goes. Yeah, if you go wither, it's gonna be easy. Oh, I didn't do the the wish list. Oh, I thought it doesn't matter. I don't have legendaries. Look at that. Uh, I mean, there's no point in me doing it. This is just a referral account, but whatever. 
The fourth one is Drex, Rector, Wither. Yeah, it should be doable, yeah. Wither is very strong. Come on, give me legendaries. It will be funny if I get legendaries on this one. Mordecai. Imagine if it also gave you the champion. Like, maybe fragments for the champion. But yeah. Okay. What is this? Oh, that sucked. Okay. And Mystic Market. I can do a thousand of these. Do one more of that. I'm never going to push this on my referral account, so... Honestly, there's no reason for me to do the summons, but let's see. Come on. Show me something good. <laughs> that sucks so much. Four star. You get a three, four, five, or six star. Yeah. The Eternal Soulstone gives you a five or six star epic or legendary. So this is that is like the um, the sacred shard, by the way. Because look at the chance, 6%. The Eternal Soulstone gives you a 20% chance for a Legendary. And then from that, it's another 20% chance for it to be 6-star. It's not that bad, but still, the, the chances you get what, something, it's so, so low. Chances you get something, it's so low, it's crazy. 